Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the end of day session, Thursday, 18th of May 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Singles and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of the uh, market stats for the day, let's quickly uh, do a run through. Uh, European session at present, you have the FTSE 100 down 67 points, the DAX down 41, the French CAC down 28. Uh, only the FTSE mid really shining and uh, actually finishing higher, 0.07% higher, up 15. IBEX certainly down, stock 600 certainly down. Okay, now in terms of the Asian markets, really was the dictate, certainly the bias was certainly dictated lower from Asian markets and obviously US markets too. Now, economic data-wise, today, J Japanese GDP coming in slightly better than expected. Uh, UK retail sales coming in stronger than expected. Uh, we had ECB monetary policy more or less uh, remains dovish. Status quo remains the same. We just had the Draghi speech, and that was literally nothing. Um, okay, he was being he was receiving an honorary degree from uh, the Tel Aviv University. Uh, US jobs uh, certainly coming in stronger than expected. Uh, economic data out of the US certainly was stronger than expected today, but that still has failed to send a uh, the dollar higher with the USD JPY below that 111 level. Okay, still below that 111 level. Okay, now in terms of the markets, let's see uh, where we stand uh, from a technical perspective. Uh, the two major factors today one, uh, GBP USD breaking that 1.3 level. Okay, although it is actually fallen back below now, let's just bring up a GBP USD. We actually got a rally up to 1.3040 before we retrace and uh, we retest in that breakout level now. So uh, sterling certainly rallying and obviously hurting the FTSE 100 in terms of the inverse relationship that exists that we all we're all aware of. Okay, uh, in terms of the euro, euro really trading sideways but still trading above that 1.11 level. Certainly still exerting pressure on uh, European equities. Euro USD, you can see here we did actually push push lower to at one point okay we did push lower at one point we hit a pivot higher 1.170 overnight and we seem to be making some type of base here around the 1.107 uh, 70 level okay Let's see if we can crack that level back down to 1.1080 and then lower okay so that certainly seems to be the current uh, situation with regards to european equities draggy and even the ecb minutes fails to really send the euro usd lower now the real uh, conundrum at present is the usd jpy we seem to be making some sort of inverted head and shoulders formation, so it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Okay, looking at the uh, daily chart at the moment, you can see that we've certainly put in a potential bottoming tail, and that's obviously helped US equities rise and come off the lows, okay, because USD JPY dictates sentiment as always. For our chart, you can see here multiple uh, bottoming tails, certainly uh, forming a base here now, and obviously allowing for US markets to rise. From my perspective, we're looking at a potential inverted head and shoulders formation. So you've certainly put in a double bottom, okay, and now you're just looking at this left shoulder here, head, okay, right shoulder certainly has seems to have gone in, and now you're looking to potentially pop on the back of stronger economic data from the US. That's that's basically the the, the uh, perspective that I would see. Out, okay, uh, the other factor as well today was uh, Brazil. Brazil uh, stock market falling 10%, and also Mr. Flynn uh, potentially not complying with the uh, subpoena and also mr flynn apparently stating well there was a report stating that the uh, the trump administration had opened up bank channels with the russians and obviously that collate that certainly raises more questions with regards to the trump regarding the trump administration so let's see where we stand okay so the german dax uh, daily chart on the german dax at the moment we've certainly uh, put in a bottoming tail uh, we've closed that gap now looking to potentially bounce here previous resistance equals support certainly bounce from there 60 minute chart on the german dax certainly quite an impressive pop from that 200 ma previous resistance equals support okay so let's see where we stand the hns formation certainly complete okay on the german dax let's just take the pivot high connect the pivot highs together so it's certainly within this uh, potential channel so just taking the lows connecting the lows together okay let's see if we can maintain this channel so HNS formation complete more or less okay on the um, the actual German DAX previous support equals resistance at 12660 so watch out for 12660 we hit a pivot higher 12620 let's see if we can actually maintain that level and uh, continue a potential pop higher 10 minute chart on the German DAX you have this inverted head and shoulders formation so from my perspective certainly uh, a 
a bottom certainly has been carved out and we're now looking to potentially pop that's basically what i would uh, interpret it as okay you have this uh, mini inverted head and shoulders formation here okay so we've got a diagonal trend line so any potential retracement really from my perspective is a buying opportunity now on the german dax okay so anywhere around that 12.560 zone looking to potentially pop higher okay looking at a 200 ma looking to potentially move higher from my perspective Okie dokie, so this is another diagonal trend line. Let's see if, uh, how, how that plays out. Okay, so again, looking to pop up to 12,700, potentially even higher. That's my interpretation on the German DAX. French CAC, certainly bounced impressively. Certainly has bounced impressively. Put in a bottoming tail, looking to bounce from this bottoming tail here on the daily chart. 60 minute chart, certainly held support, looking to potentially break out this negative candle and potentially trade back up to 5,350. That's my own interpretation. 10 minute chart certainly remains bullish again like i said looking to test that 5350 so FTSE 100 let's go to the daily chart here in the FTSE 100 uh, previous resistance equals support so certainly held the bulls certainly remain uh, and uh, maintain some type of control here on the daily chart with that bottoming tail 60 minute chart again until we test this uh, level at 57 or 7460 7470 we'll never know okay FTSE has been helped by a stronger oil price, so let's keep an eye on oil as well. 10-minute chart on the FTSE 100 is certainly building a base. Double bottom certainly in. Higher low certainly in. Bull certainly pushing higher here. Uh, in terms of a break, uh, this is your previous resistance equals support. So if anything, you're looking at consolidation on the FTSE here before we tend to test that 7470 zone. So watch out above. That's my interpretation. Okay, so I think that's a good summation. No, last but not least, let's just quickly look at the Euro stocks for you as well. Those that trade the Euro stocks, the daily chart, the Euro stocks again holding that fib fix 61 50 percent. So, I'm certainly looking for a pop here and for a bottom in tail on the daily. From my perspective, looking to break out this bear flag, bearish channel, uh, bear or bear flag, a bear flag, and uh, obviously push right to 3610. That will be my target. Okay, so you have resistance here, gap level resistance here, horizontal resistance. You have a unfilled gap at 3640 as well. For my interpretation, looking for a pop higher on Euro stocks too. Okay, uh, keep an eye on oil. Oil certainly looking very bullish. If you continue to break higher, then you are looking at testing 52, and that should send the FTSE 100 higher too. On that note, please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Goodbye now.